alongside Harrison Phillips, Omaha native, now Minnesota Viking, and also the co-owner of ETS Performance. You just opened up a brand new facility out in Elkhorn. How special is that to open the doors and allow some kids to train here in Omaha? It's It's been really cool. And now that it's kind of up and we've kind of been doing some soft opening, we'll have a grand opening really soon. But to see our members coming in for a couple months now, me being able to get back and start training with them myself, it's really cool. You know, I can see firsthand from working with some ETSs in Minnesota for the last going on three years and to see our youth athletes you know just rave about their improvements and accomplishing their goals you know I've said this before that I would run this ETS location in Omaha at a loss for the rest of my life if I just keep having athletes telling me it's helping them and, and it's something that I wish that I had when I was here and I'm thankful to be able to provide some of it here and to do it in your hometown how much more does that mean to you to give back to this community it means a lot, you know, we still do a lot with Harrison's Playmakers, my organization that works with individuals with special needs and developmental differences. My wife is from here, I'm from here. Um, we're building a home here, like this is gonna be where we are. And so um, I wanna do the best that we can for this great this great 402 area code that raised me and um, you know, everyone loves Nebraska. Well, I know training camp's already underway. You got some time off to come out and hang in the College World Series environment in Omaha. What's it been like getting back with the Vikings and just looking forward to another year? You know, it's been really fun. This has been my third year up in Minnesota. It's gone by fastest of my, my career, you know, seven years in already. And uh, I think we're really optimistic. We had a lot of issues with, it, with some injuries this last season. There's a big question mark at quarterback. And I think we addressed a lot of that this off season, and um, you know another another year with our defensive coordinator, some new players in, great draft, great free agency. Um, we're really optimistic and, and want to obviously win as many games as we can. So um, our rookie class is great. We drafted JJ McCarthy in the first round, Dallas Turner in the first round. We have a bunch of good guys, um, but I think we're building something really special, and we're kind of being quiet about it. Well, I mean, not to mention the contract extension for Justin Jefferson. How special of a player is that oh. guy just to be around day in and day out? I mean, you've you've interviewed enough of these guys you know who's the good ones are and and he's one of the guys whose play on the field matches it, the person he is off the field you, you would probably know I mean um, couldn't be more happy for him you know I, I saw him in the hallway I was working out late after he signed his contract nobody really knew he was around and he came up to me and the first thing he said is man no I can't wait till I get to work like you ain't seen nothing yet and to see someone who just record-breaking contract that's his mindset it's extremely impressive and um, I, I just want to be around him so some of that greatness wears off my direction <laughs> Well, I think the greatness has worn off in Omaha, too. We've seen so many phenomenal athletes come through here. What does it mean to be a part of that family, to come back home and talk to old teammates or just guys that look up to you here in Omaha? Yeah, I mean, at a super, super smaller scale, I look at what Caitlin Clark is doing for women's sports. And Omaha is a market where, you know, not 15 people come through every high school to make it to the NFL or MLB or NBA. And so to be one of those people that said, hey, like, I grew up here, too. I went to that school, too. That's where we go to church, too. And uh, to show kids that they can do and accomplish whatever their goals are too so um, trying to pave the way the best I can like a lot of the greats did before before I did and um, just let everybody know reach for the stars all right last question we're at the men's college world series so I have to ask for your championship pick who are you going with you know I'm, I'm kind of impartial um, fan favorite to the Kentucky first time coming I, I love a Cinderella store I think that that's great uh, but I also have a lot of teammates and buddies that I play with from NC State and I think if I didn't say them they'd be mad so I'll probably have to ke say, keep it redacted for the time being if Stanford's not there or Nebraska affiliated I just want good games and walk-offs like they had today absolutely well Harrison thanks so much for the time and congratulations on the new facility thank you so much